Is learning the English language your toughest challenge yet? Become our student and get access to effective and free educational materials. Have you moved into your new house yet, Michael? We just moved in yesterday, actually. So, what do you think about the place? Are you glad that you moved in? It's great. Unfortunately, we're going to spend a fortune doing everything up. How old is the house then? It's about 200 years old. It has a lot of history. Sounds fascinating. Where is your new house located? It's just off of the Ring Road. Do you have a big yard? It's bigger than our last one. I've got flowers in the front, and fruits, vegetables and a fish pond in the back. Is your house well lit? Oh, yes. Our windows let plenty of natural light in. They've also got wonderful views of the park behind our house. How many rooms does your house have? Right now, there are three bedrooms, two bar rooms, a kitchen, a sitting room, a dining room, and a living room. We're hoping to add on a green room and a guest bedroom. In fact, when the guest bedroom is ready, you should come and stay with us for a weekend. I'd be up for that. Can I help you in any way? I would like to see your summer suits. How do you like this pattern? The pink suits you well. Will it wash well and the color won't fade? It's of good quality. Yeah, but you guys don't stay with the same classmates all day, right? Right. The people in your math class might not be the people you have science with. So, you sent out invitations to your whole graduating class? Yep. And the date is set for homecoming night. I thought homecoming was a high school dance. It's a football game the school team plays at home. The dance and reunions are usually that night, too. Would you like to come by and play bridge? Well, let's see. Why don't we go dancing for a change? We haven't done that for a long time. Well, to tell the truth, I don't really feel like it tonight. I had a pretty hard day and I'm sort of tired. Hmm. Well, in that case, we could go to the movies. Oh, we always go to the movies. Can't we do something different? Well, do you have any suggestions? Let's see. How do you feel about playing bridge? It's okay with me, but we don't have any beer and things. Well, shall I call Janet and ask her and Tom to come over, and I'll go to the store and buy some stuff. Okay. Hello, Janet. It's me o oh, Fine. Just fine. Say, Janet, I was wondering if you and Tom were doing anything tonight, no? Well, would you like to come by our place and play a few hands of bridge? Sis, why did you ask me to come to this bargain market? It's so crowded, and you can't find anything that you really want. You just don't get it. Looking for bargains can be really interesting. Are you serious? How can that be? Bargaining as a game, or even a battle. You feel like a winner when you get a good price. Come on. You know, you can never really win. The salesperson never loses. They make their living out of it. That's true. But I just love it. Come here. Oh, this silk carpet is really beautiful. Look at the pattern, and how delicate it is. You do have great taste. That's the most expensive stuff here. 
Really? Oh, this one. I like the cloison vase. Are you kidding me? I bought a same one last week. It's surprising that there is something we both like. Well, what do you think of these ceramic cups? Come on. They look so cheap. Something else, please. What about this picture? I think Benjamin would like it. Don't underestimate his taste. I don't think he'd like it. Don't be so sure. He loves the vase I bought here last week. Yeah. Well, anyway, it's up to you. But I can tell that you come here often. Absolutely. That's why I can always get a good price. How do you spend your day, Helen? Well, on weekdays I get up around 10. Then I read the paper for an hour and have lunch at about noon. Really? What time do you go to work? I start work at 3. And when do you get home at night? I get home pretty late, around midnight. So what do you do, exactly? I'm a TV announcer. Don't you recognize me? I do the weather report on KNT. Gee, I'm sorry. I don't watch TV. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to become a part of our growing YouTube community and to learn English effectively.